This is Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out for the latest edition of the Bella's Digest. Delighted to be joined once again by Lou De Bella. And Lou, as is customary, how has your week been? I can't complain. I had opening day in Richmond, Virginia, sold out. Spent some time with the people in, uh, in Richmond. I hadn't seen them in a couple of years. My first flight since the pandemic started, I got on an airplane and I, uh, I went to Richmond. It was, it, I had a really good time for a couple of days. Got away from boxing for three days. It was a good thing. Now I'm back to the fucking circus of boxing. <laughs> and by the way, this week has been quite a circus. Well, you know. but by the time people watch this video, the Canelo Saunders fight would have happened. We'll all know the result. But some of the stuff that's happened in fight week and also, which is what I'm guessing you're referring to, the, the Floyd Mayweather uh, Paul Brothers uh, incidents from this week, Got me thinking about mind games in boxing and, and, and how effective. Well, they I was be. also I was also thinking of I was also thinking of, B, of Billy Joe Saunders in a bathrobe, <laughs> picking on some poor Mexican reporter, and and screaming about wanting a twenty two foot ring inside the ropes. Which, by the way, that's a big ring. I don't think it's going to matter, but that's like a run away from somebody. That's a stinker ring. I mean, a, a, a traditional ring, in my view, is twenty feet inside the ropes not 22 feet inside the ropes. However, credit to BJ Saunders, he got the 22 foot ring, which is absolutely an advantage for him. Um, I think Canelo giving up on that point told you how concerned Canelo is about this fight. <laughs> Some of the stuff Saunders has been doing this week is kind of reminiscent of Tyson Fury before the Vladimir Klitschko fight, talking about the ring canvas, some other elements before the fight. All, it seems, designed to frustrate, irritate uh, the other person. Just in your experience in boxing, how effective can these kind of pre-fight mind games be? Does it ever have an impact in the ring? It can if you have a weak-minded champion or opponent. You know, it can if you're on the other side of someone that's not as mentally strong as you are. Um, I have seen, absolutely seen A-sides uh, be affected by mind games coming from their opposition. Um, I've seen opposition affected by mind games coming from the A side also. It, it can, it's not going to in the Canelo situation. Um, I do think Fury when he fought Klitschko, I, I don't know if it mattered very much there either, but I gotta tell you, I think Fury, if anyone's a master at the mind game, it, it's Tyson, you know, uh, he's good at it. Um, I don't have any problem, you know, I, I don't like acting, acting the fool or acting like an asshole with a fucking reporter, but, but the stuff with the ring, I, I don't fault him for it. I mean, he got the size he wanted and, and he, and he created a little bit of a ruckus. I mean, he sort of has built up the fight by being the villain, you know, the heel in, in you know, in fight week, I, I think he should be commended for that, for the, from the people at the zone and, and even from Hearn, because I think the fight's marginally of more interest to people because they want to, a lot of people over here want to see Saunders get his ass kicked. And talking of playing the heel, it must be quite difficult to be um, heading towards a fight with Floyd Mayweather or, or your brother fighting Floyd Mayweather and still be the most obnoxious looking person in the room. And I mean that with all due respect to Floyd Mayweather. But Jake Paul may just have achieved it. What, what did you make of that whole circus? I, I don't want to. I don't want to go. Like I don't want to say this, but I'm going to. I sort of like Jake Paul. Yeah. Like I, I can't help myself. I, <laughs> I think I think he's like a goofball bro. I don't like that whole bro mentality and that whole thing. However, I don't think he's a joke as a newbie fighter. I don't. I think as an inexperienced guy with no amateur background that frankly, he's taking it pretty seriously and he's getting better. Whatever people want to think about him, he's getting better. He's also a phys physically strong kid who knows how to throw a punch. And his knack for getting under people's skin, his knack for the getting the cameras on him, his knack for getting huge publicity and self-promotion, you got to admire the hustle. You got to admire the kid. More, more real boxers should be able to do what he's doing. But honestly, he's real fucking good at it. He's really good at it. And and I'm not going to hate the kid's hustle. I'm, you know, I, 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 I am humored by it a little bit. And, 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 you know, the interesting thing was 
That was Jake Paul, not Logan Paul. Yeah. Mayweather's fighting Logan Paul on June 6th. But Jake's annex made brought attention to Mayweather and a Paul brother. So it's probably going to elevate Mayweather's pay-per-view a little bit. And Jake's in the background for after, after Mayweather knocks out the much bigger Steph brother. Down the line, the circus of Mayweather, Jake Paul would be enormous. It's going to be enormous because count on the fact you're going to see it. Count on it. How uh, genuine what do you believe Mayweather's reaction was after his hat was stolen? Was he kind of in on the on the joke and the hype, if you like? Oh, I think he was pissed. I mean, the fact that you're going to make money fighting a guy's brother and fighting a, an exhibition, Mayweather's another one that laughs all the way to the bank. Floyd understands making money, you know? So I think Floyd now is probably lightened up about it, realizing <laughs> all, all publicity is good publicity. But at that moment, having some, you know, some big white bro, like start making fun of you and grab your hat, I think Floyd was pissed. You know, um, but I got to tell you something. The looks on the looks on Jake Paul's face when Floyd was coming after him were priceless. I mean, he looked like fuck. I don't really want to get in the way somebody. He didn't want any part of that. Um, but but I but by I mean, I, I don't want to admire those kind of shenanigans. But it, but it's good promotion. And let's face reality: both Floyd and Jake Paul are in the. They are now purely in the entertainment business. You know, Mayweather's in the boxing business as a promoter, but not as a fighter. He's in the boxing business now. He's making money fighting these exhibitions and, and, and uh, you know, uh, the Conor McGregor thing, the, the, the Logan Paul thing, the, the, the going to Japan and fighting, fighting that Ten little kid in Japan thing. But he's, le- again, but one thing that he shares in common with both the Paul brothers is that they're laughing all the way to the bank. So I'm not going to hate anybody for making money. I shake my head at the end of civilization as we know it, but I've been shaking my head at the end of civilization as we know it for a few years now. Look at the whole world. Look at politics. Look at look at what's going on all over. I mean, we are we're in a, these are strange times indeed, you know. But um, I'm not going to hate the kid for making a ruckus. Mayweather seems very reluctant to let those Mexican holiday weekends go just yet. He kind of dominated them during his career, and now he seems to pop up with something every time Canelo fights. Yeah, but in fairness, he's got a pay-per-view in a month. It's a big fight week. The worldwide press is in Texas. You know, you got all the Brits there. You got every UK. Look, let's face reality, dude. People, no one in America, not one motherfucking fight fan, knows Sonny Edwards, even though he's a good fighter, because we're not British. Like, we're not, like... People, casual fans here aren't fighting British guys. But Sonny Edwards gets more play in like American boxing social media because boxing is big in the UK and it's and it's a big, 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 big potential audience over there. You know, DAZN's capitalizing on it. They're doing a lot of their fights in the uh, primetime Great Britain, like the Luke Campbell fight. Uh, and Liam Williams. With, with Ryan. Right, and, and then the other Android fight was prime time UK. Um, Canelo's been fighting British guys, and there's a reason for that because because the Zone and Eddie are very invested in that market right now, Europe, particularly the UK. So it's smart stuff that they're doing, but people don't like. They don't care. Like right now, the UK is a major major hub for boxing, and. Floyd and, and uh, you know, trying to grab some publicity during a Canelo fight week is reflective of the fact that a lot of the major press in boxing, a lot of which is British, are all congregated here. So I don't think it was really like an effort to step on anybody else. It was an effort to bring attention to what he was doing in a week where there's attention and a press corps that's much bigger already in the U.S. So I don't think like... I don't think it's so much Floyd trying to be a prick and step on on Canelo. I just think he's trying to build his own shit and sell his June 6th event. And what do you make of the June 6th event? Because it's not Triller. A lot of people kind of are under the misapprehension. I don't give a flying fuck about it. But that being said, if people want to buy it, it's cool. I have the same attitude with that 
that I had about Jake Paul and Askren and all this other shit. If, if, if there is enough of a market that people want to pay for it, you know, um, let them pay for it. You know, like what, what bothers me a little bit is what we're doing to boxing when it's just pure boxing. Like the PBC, PBC's done a lot of good shows over the years, many, many, many good shows. And they continue to do some very good shows. But Lara versus uh, Cornflake was an Cornflake atrocity. <laughs> it, it was a crime against boxing. It, it, it was an insult to boxing fans. Now, on the other hand, the Ariola Ruiz fight was incredibly entertaining. But was it a pay-per-view event? I guess it was if enough people bought it to make it worthwhile. However, I keep thinking to myself, if we were spared, Lara's a terrific fighter. He doesn't need to be fighting Cornflake Lamont. If we were spared that bullshit with on free broadcast international TV and had delivered Ariola Ruiz, PBC would have had double the rating, maybe triple, and it would have elevated that fight to where uh, scores more, I mean, literally 20 times as many people would have seen it. And it also would have made Ruiz that much more valuable for his next fight because the fight with Ariola, which was very entertaining, happened in front of such few eyeballs, so few eyeballs. So I, I just, I don't know, I'm disappointed by where we're going with boxing as a real sport, uh, the real stuff. I'm very disappointed in it. And, and uh, I'm not going to hate on anything that's basically just uh, anything that's out there that's fat, faddish or clearly just, uh, you know, pure entertainment exhibition kind of thing. If enough people want to watch it, let them buy it. I, I don't, it's, it is what it is. You know, you I mean, I, 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 I fucking Logan Paul, who I already have a, a, a I, I got a little bit of an ax to grind with him because he's done some stupid shit in the past, including relating to suicide that pissed me off. But actually, I actually have to say, I talked to the kid about it in Florida when I was there and he was there and, uh, and we had an intelligent conversation. I don't think he's an evil kid. Um, He's 0-1 as the fighter, 0-1. And, and he lost, he didn't lose to a boxer. He lost to some dude, I don't even know who the dude is. What is it, KR? KSI. KS1. KSI. What's KSI? He is. Okay, KSI beat him. He's about to fight Floyd Mayweather. What are we talking about here? <laughs> now, if it makes money, good for all of them. But it, they ain't taking my money. And by the way, I don't, I don't steal pay-per-view, so I ain't going to watch it. So June 6th can go on and go this. Look, Floyd's a star. And if pop culture uh, popularity results in that being able to make those guys money, God bless them. It ain't going to be my money. I ain't buying it. But, <laughs> but I have no hate for it. I have no hate for it. I'm not going to sit here and start saying, oh, they're insulting boxing. Because nothing can insult boxing. You know, I've said this many times. I'll say it again. I laugh at the purists in boxing because when has there ever been anything pure about boxing? And by the way, never has there been less pure about boxing than these days. I agree. So when he fights inevitably Jake Paul, are you going to buy that? I'm sure you're going to buy that one. I mean, it, it probably would be silly. <laughs> yeah, probably. Because I want to be entertained. And if I think something's going to entertain me, I'm going to buy it. I mean, I was actually, I don't want to admit this, but but that Jake Paul, Ben Askren fight, like that card, it was such a shit show, such a circus that I found it highly entertaining. Like I, I, I got a kick out of it. Now, that being said, I was completely in an altered state of mind when I watched it. I figured if I'm going to spend hours watching Snoop Dogg and all these motherfuckers wasted, I'm not going to watch Sober. So like I was, you know, I definitely had a, you know, I was in a good head when I watched it, but, but I, I was entertained and, um, you know, to each his own, man, what entertains you entertains you. And I, I'm not going to hate on, on, on people who, you know, doing what they need to do to make money. That's fair enough. Really appreciate the insight as always. Um, did you want to do a uh, Canelo Saunders prediction? It will be after the event, of course, but we'll see how, uh, you know, prescient you are. Yeah, I think Saunders wins some rounds early. The fight 
is people are, are, are going to be on social media talking about how actually scoring the fight in the early rounds because I could see Saunders sneaking around or, or Saunders has got is a very skilled guy. He looks to be in good shape. I'm sure he is. He's a very skilled guy with a very awkward, difficult style. So I don't think it's going to be a walk in the park for Canelo. However, I think Canelo does everything better. The only thing I would say that where I'd give Sanders a clear edge, Sanders has faster feet. Mm -hmm. he, he's, but Canelo, Canelo may not move with such speed, but he moves very intelligently. So I, I don't think that the speed differential, the speed of feet or, or the speed of foot is going to be enough of a difference to let Saunders pull out a decision or win a fight. So I'm going to predict, I'm going to go on the limb a little bit and say Canelo starts getting to him late and the body work hurts him and Canelo takes him out late in the fight. I, I'm going to predict Canelo by stoppage late in the fight. I wouldn't be surprised by Canelo by decision. I wouldn't be surprised by Canelo in a clear but close decision. But I would be shocked if Billy Joe could win. Yeah, I'll go along with that. I, I think decision more likely than stoppage. But yeah, I'm, I'm going for Canelo too. Good stuff. Well, Lou, we'll catch up next week. We'll, we'll see um, if we were right once again. We're, we're on a good little run, I think. And uh, yeah, look forward to it. All right, my friend. Be well. Mm -hmm.